Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we have a new faction, so let's go check it out. What do we got? Let's see, can we go to events? Events. Like, share, subscribe. The Labyrinth. A new faction is available. Earn new troops by questing and delving in the underworld. So what kind of order do we do this in here? I always forget. So we have the games, right? Games. We got the Labyrinth here. Um, you know, I hit like. That way I know I've already watched the video. So I'd really appreciate it. And you're helping. You know, we're a team here. Come on. We're the underdogs. Let's go. Alright, let's get this. Um, What are we going to do first? I need to go to the underworld, I think, is the first thing you do here. And we got to unlock it. So let's go to the Labyrinth right here. First things first. A new banner. So that's a double green, red, minus purple. That's probably pretty good, right? Jet engine PS4. I wish I could crunch it into dust. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we got to do the quest first, like always. So here comes a very bad voice acting for you. <laughs> I'm sure you're looking forward to it. We stumbled upon a strange labyrinth in the underworld. Sunweaver seemed to know something about it. This dang old labyrinth looks familiar. There's an old story told by my people. Oh? There was once a Taurus who tried to cheat death and was exiled. Interesting. The dang old tales tell that he built a labyrinth just like this to hide in. Let's find out. I guess he's a hillbilly. And hey, my Uncle Bobby will vouch for me, so don't, don't, don't even say nothing in the comments. All right, let's go. All right, I'm using Phoenicia, I guess. I didn't even pick it, but uh, let's go. Let's see if it works. Bang. Diablist, leveling up my Diablist. We will never open the gate. Diablist, Phoenicia, the weapon doesn't matter too much. Used to use Summer's Fury, don't really care. Never needed it, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, if the weapon had some sort of talent on it that you could use without having to cast it, I don't think that's a possible thing, though. I wonder what they're, they were gardening here. Could be his final resting place, know what I mean? The old Taurus. His name was King Minus. He was a great warrior, a great leader, and a dang old brilliant mind. I see. He was until the fateful day when he thought he could live forever. So you said. You know my kind. We embrace death. The way we die is important as the way we dang old live. This is true. This is indeed the labyrinth of King Minos. It would be difficult. How difficult. The tales say he used to hide from death. Really? If it stopped dang on death, even for a short time, our chances are not good. Fair point. But if there's even a chance he is still alive, we must press on. Very well. Go left, go, go left, left, right, straight, right. What's that from? Down, left, up, something, something. I don't know. I should know that, huh? Isn't that like a code for Contra? Um... Ah, right. Explode. Didn't get up. Wow. Come on, Phoenicia. Get your crap together, girl. You're a mess. You'll never find our, your way. I should have made him a big dummy. That's always more fun. But he's a hillbilly, so... He's a country boy. Alright, let's go. Storm in the... Never mind. Educational purposes. Storm in the educational purposes. If you knew what I was going to say there, then you're a smart feller. The legends were, are true. These feller Tauruses have only yeehaw one horn. Why is that? They say Ketris himself cursed the followers of King Minus as they were dang old banished. Cursed them? Yes, our horns are our pride. It cursed them. To only have a single horn. I see. They called him dang old rhino tours. These must be their descendants. How terrible. 
Dang old left, right, left, left. I'm afraid we are lost. This maze is never ending, y'all. So what now? There is one perk of being a dang old spirit. What's that? I can consult with my dang old ancestors. They may have some advice, y'all. I hope they don't. <laughs> I hope they do. For now, let's continue. We might make progress. Progress. Okay. I gotta start saying more stuff wrong. Clank, we're... I don't know. You know how it is. The, the voice develops as we go. It either gets worse or it gets better. I think it's getting worse. Which is sometimes better. You know what I mean? Alright. So, do the quest first, like always. Clang Grind Zing. So, these are mech Tauruses. That's pretty cool. Right, like a, a boy you ride at a bar. Uh, let's see. Red extra turn. Might as well. To make sure when we cast Leprechaun that we get all the way up. Boom. Thing it says, told me something very troubling. What's that? King Mine has never crossed over. He must still be alive here. Or a spirit like you. Have you seen have you seen any sign of him? While he's gone? Just these machines. Mechanical tours? King Mice must have built them. Pretty clever. The two voices aren't very very far apart, what does that say? Dang on, at last, the center of the maze lies ahead, y'all. We made it. And to think, all these years, King Minus has hidden him from there. Indeed. We must slay him and return his spirit to my ancestors, y'all. Very well. Hopefully it'll break the curse of the labyrinth. Let's find out. King Minos, I shall never die. Rhino Tour, the Labyrinth Wild Plains. Explode either a row. Oh, it's that either crap. Not ether, either. Not not straight fire. Not a diss song. Um, bang, we're done. You like my new uh, tiger guy? I like to change it based on the pet to make it match a little bit. I know other people do that, but I think it's a good idea, so I do it too. Finally, King Minus has been returned to the stars to rest with our ancestors. That's good. I doubt he will have a dang on good reputation at least not for a few centuries. Oh? A noble death is important. And he did kick and scream a lot. He did, rather. But what's more, I have another dang old tale to tell the ancestors when it's my turn, y'all. Me, too. I hope I'm done. It's always so cringy. So cringy it's good though, right? Some of you are like out of here. As soon as you heard it. Which you're not here to hear this, so it doesn't matter. Alright, let's see. So if you're very, very awesome and you're not doing a video and um you don't and you have as much time as you want and all that, go ahead and do these right here and um I don't know, I don't even want to click on it, but uh I don't think it'll you could do these so you could do like 20 30 and 40 right and then you can do the event and you'll still start at 20 so whatever that means i don't know um so let's go to what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing i think we'll go to games right and we need to do the shop i think wow look at this it's pretty cool it's like a, a maze i wish it was a real maze though don't you that'd be amazing if it was a real maze. Let's buy up in the shop. Pretty sure. That way we can get some treasure. So do the quest. Or open. Open the faction. Do the quest. Then go to the shop. Get some treasure. Some more treasure. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. I should have said you know what I mean a lot more. Than that. Dang it. Dang it. At least I say dang it. Um... Get the weapon. Explode a row or column. That's annoying. Deal 36 damage to the first enemy. Then jumble the enemy team. That just sounds like a very stupid weapon. I don't like it. Minos Cleaver. Minos Cleaver. 
Minotaur is supposed to be like such a tough thing, but but it also sounds like it's a tiny fish. So I don't know how to feel about that. Um, let's see. So we just bought everything up in the shop. So now we need to do our horde quality and level. That's next, I think. Where is this? Did I already lose it? The labyrinth. There it is. Hey, I just did, um, that's why I have a new pet, because I just got the deep hive to 2,000. I should be more like a, going for pure factions, but I'm going for pets right now, so whatever. And, um, so I got my new mini Skeeto pet. Minos. 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 Minotaur. Minos. Little fish. It all came around. Alright, so horde level and quality, plus portals. Let's open some portals first, so that's next, actually. So let's get this straight, right? Unlock the faction, do the quest, go up to the weapon in the shop, then open portals till you get um, enough, you know, at least one of every... One of every troop. And, um... So we got Horned Guardian, 11 Red, Green, The Labyrinth, Wild Plains, Taurus Construct. It really, me it, it really depends on if you're going for uh, Pure Faction or not. Like, if you're not going for Pure Faction, you could just get one copy of each right now, just so you have them. Um, but if you are going for Pure Faction, you might want to get uh, fully ascended copies of each troop. And we definitely want to get it. I want to get one of each right now, is basically what I'm saying. But if we're going to do Pure Faction... Tomorrow during the live stream, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., EST. Remember that, the live stream. I should be saying that uh, more than a subscribe and like. Gain 26 armor and barrier, then knock a random enemy to the back. Um, reduce damage from skulls by 50%. Sounds like our tank. Rhino Tor, 13, green, brown. The Labyrinth Wild Plains, of course. I'm not going to say that anymore. Taurus Wild Folk, I'm not going to say that anymore. Explode either a row or column, then knock the last enemy to the front. Hmm. Well, the last enemy is not usually the one you want to knock to the front. It's usually like the third enemy, but whatever. It's something. We got very crappy treasure there. Cool. So this is about, like, getting your copies plus getting more treasure. So the shop... The getting the more copies. This is what you want to do before you do your horde level and quality. Just because... Did we already get this guy? 13 red, yellow. Um, deal 28 splash damage to an enemy. Boosted by my armor. There are independent 30% chances to silence, silence, each, silence each affected enemy. I need to start reading again. I think that's my problem with my uh, pronunciations and... Speaking. I haven't been reading. Even if you don't read out loud, I still feel like you get better. Like, who sits there and reads out loud, you know, by themselves? But, I think it also helps with your pronunciations, even if you're not reading out loud. Just to read in your head. 15 green, blue, of course, Taurus. Deal 29 heavy splash damage to an enemy. Stun all enemies affected. Then jumble the enemy team. My opinion on this guy, just that on paper reading his uh, ability without using him, is that he is going to be very annoying. He, he can annoy the other team. And he gives 50% mana to all Taurus allies when battle begins, but so does Shaman class. So, not anything new, really. Alright, I think I'm good there. Um... I think I got all, a copy of everything. So now we got to do our horde level and quality. First thing I do is quality. I just use my best treasure. I don't... I think, right? So bang. Um, so that's a 30% chance. So now we need 70 more out of 4. So what's that? Let's just do a 20, of course. Probably. And then 10, 10, 10. Nope, that ain't gonna work. So take two of those off, add two of these. So a lamp, three chalices, and a gold ring is a 100% chance. A lamp, three chalices, and a gold ring. 
a lamp, three chalices, a gold ring. We're just going to do this all the way up because I have enough, I think. A lamp, three chalices, a gold ring. 43,000. Watch your gold go down, too. Hey, good PS4. Thank you. It finally took off to the moon, and it's gone. It's in outer space now. One, two, three, one. I think it's, it's orbiting the Earth. It's gone. I don't even see it anymore. It's not even in my room. Uh, one, two, three, one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Try not to be like super slow with this today and like hurry it up a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. We're on seven. How much gold was that? I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the next one is. Da do 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 da. Seventy three thousand. So that's like a hundred thousand between like the one I said before and this one. So it's probably been like three hundred thousand so far. Da da. I should have um marked how much gold I had. I think I was close to 12 million when we started. Doot. Doot doot doot. Dow. 84,000. It's getting to, to be 100,000 a pop here. It's an expensive soda. Um. Okay, so we're at 10. I don't know if we already were or weren't, but it doesn't matter because I need to go up and level anyway, so who cares? All right, now it's time to just get our level to a good break point. So we're going to see what's a good break point. Well, look at your magic and see when's a good time to stop. So 100's not bad because you just got a magic. And then 111 is awesome. You get two magic. I think the last one we did did not give us two. It only gave us one. But see, I wasn't lying. You can get two magic from 111. So 111, I think, is the best break point. In my opinion. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say that besides me. But it depends what uh, faction it is too. So I'm not always right about that. So now I just do the best treasure I got. I don't... Like I say, people in the comments are always saying like... You should do it this way or that way. I don't know. I, I don't care. I got 11 million gold. I wish... I don't know. I wish I could tell you a better way to do it here. I don't think there is, because if you use worse treasure, you're just gonna—it's just gonna take longer, and you're gonna probably spend the same amount of gold. I don't really think there's that much of a difference. But if somebody in the comments says there is, try their way too. Go look at other um, new factions and see if somebody put something in the comments. If you—if they don't do it right away, so I'm sure they've done it before. If I had like sacred treasure here, it would probably be a little bit better than using this epic treasure but um i'm already at 111 i don't care i probably could have took one of those epics off there i'm an idiot but whatever i'm there i don't care i still have 11 million gold um i still have 21,000 portals i'm not really caring too much at the moment so 111 got our 13 magic um what is this associated to let's take check out the troops real quick just to see um what are we doing okay what is it? Uh, the Labyrinth. Is it THE Labyrinth? Of course it is. We gotta go... We should've went up from the bottom. Um, I just wanna see... So, Wild Plains. Is that the one we did the other day, guys? Remember when I was doing uh, that video on Wednesday that got a decent amount of views? Um, I appreciate it. I was hoping to make a good video on Wednesday, and then I said, ah, I'm just gonna do this. And it still was a good video, and I'm happy for that. But yes, I did. I got it to level 15, which is another thing you could do if you want to. Um, it costs Imperial Deeds. It costs regular Red Deeds. But you'll get more Faction Stats, which helps with this. So, just another thing to tell you about new factions. The Associated Kingdom and getting more stats by leveling up the Associated Kingdom is a thing. So after you do your horde level and quality, that's something you could consider. Do you have the imperial deeds and the and the red deeds for it? I don't know. So, I wonder if you even went even higher, like more faction horde stats. Like if I had one more, if I had six red books, which I have zero. That's saying one more. Yeah, right. Anyway, so now I think it's time for the games for the new faction assault. 
Um, what kind of medals do I got on? I got Nisha on. I just want to check because I don't feel like going all the way back out once I uh, get in here. What am I doing? Come on, bro. Fight. Um, shop. We already did that. We got the weapon. All right, let's see what we got. Red. You guys know what I'm doing, so it's not really um a big secret here. And it's a Taurus. It's a. It's like it's, you're supposed to do this here. Um, shaman equip. Uh, if you want to see this, um, 50% Taurus mana start. Make sure it's fully traded. I got on ferocity, counter attack, root trap, blood and glory. I don't know about that one. Light storm and leaf storm. That's green and yellow. I think I did glory because we don't need green or yellow. So. I'd rather have no storm there. Gain three attack when an enemy dies, or all troops gain four armor. Three attacks really not going to help too much, I don't think. But four armor doesn't really help either, so I'm just going to do this one. And that's it. I'm not at 70 yet, but if I was, I'd probably do enrage here. And then bull general. Um, and weapon is going to be a rage reaver. Rage Riva. Hope you enjoyed the voice at the beginning. Hope you come to the live stream tomorrow where we will go way further in this uh, faction. Um, and do anything else you guys want to do. I mean, we'll do the faction for most of the time because that's the thing that's going on. But we may do some of the world event. We might do some of your teams. You never know. So, even if you're done with the with the faction, the new faction still swing by it's a live stream it, it, and i go mostly off the comments like your guys is vibe so you guys control the live stream usually of course i have an agenda and things i want to do and i probably will do that those things first but really cool people come to that live stream there's never any drama it's all members mostly there plus uh, some other cool people and yeah so any double red, of course, which I got, double red, uh, brown or blue, without minusing a brown or blue. Double red, brown, minus purple. Meteor banner. All right, I think we're good to go. We got magic Nisha medals on. We have uh, potions. We did all of our extra stats from our faction and our associated kingdom. We got shaman on, fully traded. Rage Reaver, Triple Ferocity. Could there be another team that could clear this slightly faster? Maybe, but this is pretty fast. Like, take a red. Cast. Cast. It's like, not that. Like, only like one team could... If you, if you have like a Rowan type team, that's the only way that it could be faster. 1.3, 1.15. We're going with the 1.3 Treasure Multiplier. The only other thing to watch out for here with this ferocity team is are there red enemies? Cuz red enemies will take double damage from skulls and from uh spell damage. And you also want to shoot your rage reaver at non-red enemies. So if we, the worst person to hit with this rage reaver right here would be this uh king high forge there. So and then second worst would be this guy cuz he's entangled. So let's hit queen Jezebel didn't get an extra turn that's surprising because we're we should have a ton of red on the board this guy only has four health let's not target him per se but hope he dies and then bang so you kind of want to hit red enemies first um and use your rage reaver on non-red enemies and then also don't take out enemies that are all tangled up or you know save those for last because it's just common sense stuff but I like to say common sense stuff. This red enemy doesn't really matter at the moment, though. You know, that one's about to cast, so I cast on him. Bang. There's different priorities. If they're about to cast, that's a good time to kill them. Alright, so we got 1.15... 1.15. So the, only, the a, a thing to do here, they're both the same. So if I had did this one, it would open up this one. So you got to think ahead. So 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 1.25. 
So, but if I do this one, it's going to open up this one, which is 1.4 and better. So I'm going to do this one. Think ahead. There's more to this than it seems. With the casting of the ferocities, the rage reavers, the way you take the rooms. Like, there's minor details that make everything slightly better. And if you do every single minor detail that makes every it makes every single thing slightly better, then you're overall going to be a better player. Is it going to make a huge difference? And you know, who knows? Probably not. But if you do every single thing I tell you that's a, a minor detail that'll make everything slightly better, then you're slightly better across the board at many, many, many things. Then you're going to be better than somebody else. And you're going to get more resources, get stuff done quick. I'm not like the guy where we get everything done super duper fast, and that's the main priority. That's not always on my radar, but it's also a byproduct of some of the things that I do, you know? Okay, so this is 1.2. This is 1.15. I just want to double check there. We're doing it in multiplier order because it increases your multiplier instantly, which applies to the next room. I think somebody might have went and dug into that deeper and tried to say it wasn't that big of a deal, but like here I could take these skulls, but um, it's only going to kill one enemy, while this is probably going to kill two. So another little optimization there. Instead of hitting one enemy, killing it with skulls, and then having to cast twice anyway wow that didn't open this room that's strange so so it must go around like this is this doing this room did not open this room that's weird well i guess i guess i ought to know remember that for the future it, do, it didn't matter right there but it could matter in the future hmm I guess it doesn't matter, because either way... I don't know. It's just something to note. That clearing that... <clears throat> clearing that room does not open the previous room there, which is weird. Clearing this room does not open this room, which I think is weird. It's because it's a maze, so they're making it weird. Because it's a maze, you know? It's a labyrinth. Um, should I take brown or red? I think early on, red is the priority. Because you just get your frosties up, you kill. Later on, Rage Reaver is a higher priority than it is now. I'm not saying it's a higher priority than ferocity. But later on, it's a higher priority than it is now. And you want to build your stats up later, so it might be a higher priority than ferocity later on. Because one, a Frosty is not going to always one-shot. There is a decent amount of red troops. I think all of the... Uh, well, not all of them. Two of them are red. I don't know. There's this guy. He's red. All right. Brown, red. Um, let's move... Eh, eh, don't matter. We got Rage Reaver. I cast on a red. That's bad. Bad move. But early on, it doesn't matter too much. Just practice for later, though. Don't do what I just did. Oh, we got a level 9 chest. That's pretty good. Bang, bang, bang. Nice. And let's do one more, I guess. Just so you, maybe I'll have find... Maybe I'll think of something else to say. I don't know. Live stream tomorrow. Something I thought to say. Hit like. It helps you and me. It might help me a little bit more than you, but... Um, at least you know I'm honest. I could do skulls, or I could just go with this brown... Skulls will kill, and then they'll do skulls. I don't, why are you thinking about it so much? Who cares? Red. Everybody's up. I got... I need to quit uh, overthinking. I'm just trying to like teach as I play, so I'm trying to think of things that you guys might run up against later on. But, um, hey. We can do that tomorrow, too. So 1.5 is way higher than 1.15. I think what this is doing is it's a maze, and if you go the right way, you can go straight to the boss if you want. And they're saying, like, hey, if you go left, if you go left, there's only two rooms till the boss. But if you go right, you got to go through, like, 
you might go the wrong way and then have to go back the right way. I think that's what they're doing here. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's the same every single time or if it's different every single time. That might be cool. If it's different every single time. We're clearing every single room, so that might be annoying for Pure Faction later on. And that's going to be funny to watch, if you know what I mean. But, um, which I might do uh, Pure Faction tomorrow, so we'll see. Val Raven, high value target, obviously. Don't cast Rage Reaver there. It's only going to kill one enemy, and the Ferocity will kill two. It's a little, a little quicker. 1.15. 1.15 and now I'm not sure does this that leads to a 1.2 that leads to a 1.15 but it's also a treasure room I just go by uh, multiplier so if you want to go by gold treasure and all that that's another way to go like hit the treasure rooms as soon as you can I don't know I don't know I don't know, I don't know about all that if you're in, if you're into treasure and getting lots of gold while you're doing this just do your three delves a day in City of Thieves and um, instead of worrying about it right now. So see this time, I don't know. 1.2, 1.2, 1.15. I'm going to go with 1.2. I'm not sure how these rooms are leading to the next room or leading to the boss room. I'm not sure. Uh, let's take out... I don't know, I don't like his face. I didn't like his face. Red enemy, but low health. Doesn't matter, though. I'm thinking too hard about these battles. But I'm trying to teach people for later. Like, which is a hard thing. Y'all should check out that new EverQuest video. I went into a new dungeon. And it got very hairy. I had to cast Gate. Did I make it? I don't know. You have to check it out. Got jumped by a bunch of shaman and warriors and frogs, and it's crazy. Actually, having people in that game message me in that game and tell me they they watched my videos that's pretty cool. Even though the videos aren't getting like tons of views, it's a little bit more re rewarding when like you're playing the game and people are sending you messages saying, "Hey, I watched your video." Blah blah blah. It's kind of fun. So that kind of makes up for, hey, if I only get 90 views on this one, or I only get 50 views on this one, it makes up a little bit when people are in-game, like, sending me messages saying they watched the video. At least I know there's real people out there watching it. Um, it only a little bit, though. Of course, like, I'm not going to stick with a game if it keeps getting 50 views for six months straight. Which is kind of what happens with Dark Souls and Bloodborne and all that. Like, I don't know why. There's other channels out there that get hundreds of thousands of views on Dark Souls and Bloodborne and all that. I don't know where my brain is going right now. I should be concentrating on Gems of War. Which I do. I do like new factions. It's, it's always exciting. New factions, new mythics. Um, we got a new pet. The little dino pet. I didn't show him, but... Probably one of my favorite pets in the game, probably. So, definitely a, a good reason that I might want to do Pure Faction tomorrow. Which I would definitely buy way more uh, potions if I knew. Like, here's another tip. You're, like, always talking about another game now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave. Well, here's another tip, right? If you're going to do Pure Faction, the earlier you know that, the better. Because you could go in the shop and just buy way up. Because you're going to need to spend like 2,000-something gems, right? I don't even know how much we've already spent here. Let's say 30, 70, that's 100. That was probably 100 and something. So 250 plus 300, 550. We've probably spent five to 600 already. And then this is going to be around 1,000, 1,400, 1,600. And then you got to buy this several times. So 1,600, and then you got to buy this like at least five more times. So it's around 2,500 gems to do Pure Faction. Around 2,500. I think you can do it with slightly less, and sometimes it takes slightly more. So on average, it takes between 2,000 and 3,000 to do Pure Faction. 
I gotta claim my rewards. I only got a level 7 chest. That's booty. Booty cheeks. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna do for today. Come to the live stream tomorrow, and we will do more. I may even do Pure Faction. I don't know, though, because that's gonna take a very long time, so I might have to start at 6 a.m. If I'm gonna do Pure Faction, then I'm probably gonna start at 6 a.m. And if I'm not going to do Pure Faction, I'm probably going to start at 7 a.m. So I'll try to put out a scheduled live stream uh, reminder thingy. And yeah, have a good weekend. Um, like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. It's dollars instead of pennies. Even though it's $1.99, it helps way more than these ads that give me literal pennies. And um, yeah, come to the live stream tomorrow. Remember to hit like. It helps a lot. It also tells you, I've already watched this video. I hit like right away. When I start watching a video that of a person that I know that I like, I hit like right away. Because then I'm like, okay, that's my bookmark. I've already watched this one. And um, I like this guy anyway. I might as well help him out. But yeah, live stream tomorrow between 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment below, tell your guild about the channel, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.